Okay, for Easter, for me personally, the only thing I eat on Easter Sunday is lamb. And there's lots of different cuts of lamb you can choose. And this is a really simple one pot one day. So here I've got a kilo of bone-in lamb shoulder, and I'm gonna do lamb boulangere, which is a really lovely, easy, simple thing. You put it in the oven four hours and eat it. It doesn't require any other work than that. It's just a bit of prep work now, and then put it in the oven, and it's all done. So. I've got some lamb shoulder here and I'm going to make some incisions in the meat of the lamb about an inch across, like so. And I'll do about five on each side and a couple on the flesh side as well. And I'm going to use these to infuse the lamb with lots of extra flavours. So what I do in each of these holes is I stuff a piece of garlic, a little bit of thyme, and then a tiny bit of anchovy. And anchovy is really lovely. It's got a lot of savory flavor in there. Obviously it adds a bit of salt into the meat itself. Okay, so now that all the anchovies, garlic and thyme are in there, I'm just gonna cover it with some olive oil and season it. Put lots of salt and pepper. Boulanger potatoes. That's potatoes there sliced. And then I've got some melted butter here, which I'm just gonna pour over. Give them a season. Give some time. So I'm just going to toss that all together. And the butter will stop them going brown while I prepare my onions. But also, when they cook, it will give them a lovely golden roasted colour. So just got some onions here. I'm just going to peeled white onions, cut them in half, and then so just into half moons. This is a, the kind of pot everyone's got in their kitchen. You can do it in a roasting tray, but this is just kind of got a nice shape. So I'm just going to start laying these potatoes down in a bed for the lamb to sit on. Fill in the middle, and then a layer of onion. A tiny little bit of seasoning at every stage. It just builds up that layer of flavour. And do the next layer. And now I'm just filling in that last holes just so the the lamb's got something nice and flat to fill in. A bit more seasoning. And then that's three layers of potato and onion and now a pint of stock, chicken stock. Okay, so that's the boulanger ready. Now just the lamb to go on top, like so. And I preheat the oven to 150 degrees, so I'll pop a lid on that and put it in there for about, check it after two hours, it's probably gonna be three hours. So, the lamb. It's been in there for about three hours now, so I'm just going to get it out of the oven. And there we go. So, as you can see, all of the potatoes are nice and cooked. They've got a dark brown colour. The lamb is falling off the bone. It's absolutely delicious. So, I'm just going to let that sit there for a sec while I just do a quick side dish. So, I've got some courgettes here, some olive oil nice and hot. So going straight into the pan. You can just give them a quick season. Add a knob of butter to the courgettes them cook for a bit. Now let's have a little look at this. Let's get right involved here and have a look at how this lamb's cooked. As you can see, the bones just pops out and all of that lovely chicken stock has cooked into a lovely sauce at the bottom. Just a nice, generous serving of boulanger potatoes. Just spoon off a big chunk of the lamb. Yep. I'm going to add some wild garlic as well. There you have it, that is your wonderful slow cooked lamb shoulder on boulanger potato with courgettes and wild garlic. Perfect for Easter, maybe with a little cheeky glass of Pinot Noir as well. Beautiful.